Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, and CMG on the daily weekly time frame. So PCLN bulls following through in a big way. We got that break of 1670, which is what the bulls needed for that higher low and higher high. Significant follow through and a very strong close over the lower Bollinger Band resistance on the daily time frame. So that's a great sign for the bulls and we could look for some momentum tomorrow if we can break 1707 right out of the gate. The next major resistance is 1748. If we break that level, we have a lack of resistance due to the gap. I personally would likely expect a lower high compared to that level and then we would, that would lead to some consolidation and a higher low to form, but that remains to be seen. That's a little bit of guesswork. Let's see what the bulls have up their sleeve. The fact that we did get some pretty decent volume today and that strong close, we're certainly going to be looking for at least a bit more upside to start tomorrow. Weekly time frame still very weak overall. Certainly this bounce is not doing much in terms of the magnitude of the drop we saw because of earnings. But the bulls will take it, the bulls that are playing that oversold bounce, and we'll see what kind of follow through we can get from there. NVDA earnings reaction, the bulls bought the dip heading into earnings. When you see a, the number one sector, the semiconductor sector on fire this year, the market on fire this year, if you're going to drop down to oversold RSI levels on the hourly and five minute time frame on earnings day, you're going to have market bulls looking to buy that dip and have a discount heading into earnings. So here at the end of the day now, it's 6 p.m. Eastern. We've got NVDA up at 209.210. So we had an initial bearish reaction. The bulls showed up. We're looking up towards the all-time high. If we don't break that all-time high tomorrow morning, early on, 212.90, look for profit taking. So that's going to be the gauge that we look for. If we get a new all-time high, the bulls will have some nice momentum. But otherwise, we could see profit taking and this bull move fade. A little bit of uncertainty behind this bull move here after hours. A potential bearish reversal candlestick on the weekly time frame. But with the upside, we are seeing... Uh, unlikely to be the case, but again, we have to see how we fare heading into the open. We're still going to have some trading after hours and pre-market to be aware of. Tesla on the daily rejected as soon as we lost that higher low pattern on the daily. That's a bear signal. We dropped down $5 instantly and the bulls did buy the dip with the market. We're still rejecting from exponential daily resistances, but now it's interesting because we have our higher low on the daily. And if the bulls can get a break of 307.50, we will have a higher low and higher high looking to fill the gap at 320.26. So there's our higher low. We'll get that higher high. If we get that higher high, the bulls will have some short-term momentum and we'll look for a daily bullish MACD cross. If we can't break 307.50, the bears remain in full control. Weekly time frame struggling to hold the 50-week support along with the lower Bollinger Band, inside bar on the weekly, and all about whether or not 307.50 can break or not. Netflix on the daily, bulls bought the dip as well. We were looking bearish on Netflix. If the tech sector pulls back, I was saying Netflix is a lead bear. And we did, did see a very significant drop where we dropped down $4 to the low. There is a base of support being built now, and it's very important to be watching. We've got 191.03, 191.16, 191, or make that 190.81. And we did break that level. So we now have a lower high and lower low on the daily. The bulls did buy this dip, but we are shifting momentum to favor the bears on the daily time frame in the short term. So it's not an all out dump. The lower Bollinger Band is acting as support, but keep an eye on this weekly time frame because if we lose exponential moving average supports, we can be looking for further pullback from here. We're watching the potential for a bearish MAC decross. Last time we saw that on the weekly, we had five weeks of consolidation. So out of the big five tech names that we follow, Netflix is currently the weakest on the daily time frame. CMG is similar to Tesla, rejecting from its daily exponential resistance, trying to see some follow through. We've got 270 support. The bulls need to see a break of 276s. We have a lot of tops in the 276 range. And if we can get over 276.88, we're looking up at 280.83 as the next level that the bulls will have to get over in order to see this oversold bounce play out. I'm not giving the bulls any benefit of the doubt on Tesla nor CMG. As long as these daily exponential resistances continue to reject the price, the bulls have a lot of work to do and a lot of proving to do. So patiently waiting on those plays, not getting any signals right now. CMG could not confirm the bullish reversal candlestick from last week. It's an inside bar and we have a tightening range. So I appreciate you watching. We'll see you over the weekend and have a great night.